Kenny, impressive performance there. What do you make of what do you make of the whole 90 minutes? Um, well, we've got to be pleased. We've just scored eight, and uh, at the end of the day, it's still only three points. Um, we're particularly pleased with the start. We said to the boys at the start that we've got to start quicker, and uh, I thought we sort of flew out the blocks and getting at half time at 5 0 was uh, only going to be one outcome from there. So, uh, what we had to do was keep them grounded at half time and uh, try and push on, but equally, when you're winning the game comfortably, we've got a big squad, we've got to try and keep everyone happy. So, brought players on, maybe dis got a little bit disjointed, but ultimately, it didn't detract from the, the, the performance and the result in the end. So. Yeah. There was a couple of points in the first half where, when it was at 1 0, they had a few kind of half chances, but the moment the second goal went in, the floodgates just opened, didn't they? Yeah, well, look, you know, we, we knew they were a young side, they're a new side, they're energetic, and, uh, you know, teams are going to create chances in SIL, and uh, they didn't go for them, and today we were clinical, and, uh, you know, with uh, the strikers we have on the pitch, we, we know we've got goals in us if we can defend properly. Sometimes luck has to play a part, and you ride your luck at times, so, yeah. yeah. Without revealing too much in terms of a tactical perspective, the, the guys up top were very impressive in terms of how they played and they didn't give you you guys didn't give Westerfield any opportunities to to try and control the ball pass out from the back it was very impressive yeah well you know you it's a cliche but you defend from the front don't you and I, and I've, we we uh, expect our strikers to work hard we expect our wide players to work hard in terms of coming back supporting our full backs uh, we played big rem today and we wanted rem to bully him we know he's going to do that and you just don't let them settle because if they want to build from a platform at the back where they're going to play, well, you've got to stop that happening in the first instance. And, you know, that's always our objective, stop your opposition playing. And then that allows us to play. We will find a space, we'll play the ball. And, uh, yeah, we, we we played really well and got the result. So yeah. Tonight aside, the, you've, you guys have you're still unbeaten. You've won, what is it now, four out of your five games in terms of a league perspective. Must be absolutely buzzing with the start you guys have had. Yeah, it's only a, only a good start at the moment, isn't it? You know, la last year we uh, we had a, a, a decent start and uh, the season uh, ended up null and void. Look, it's a very long way to go. There's some really good sides in this league. We played uh, Bergholt the other day and we were lucky to come away with a point. And uh, every team you play at this stage of the season is going to be their strongest side. Uh, we've got a decent squad. We've brought some decent players in and. Uh, you know, we expect, and uh, in terms of the potential we've got, we expect us to be challenging up and near the top. But got to have the right mindset, and uh, you know that's something that we instil in the boys is you know have the right attitude, and the football will come from that. But yeah, we're pleased. But all it is is a good start at the moment, isn't it? Let's see where we are in another five games' time. That now is. Well, what it looks like from a fixture perspective, the end of the midweek games. Um, I've talked to a few people beforehand. What what's your kind of force on playing midweek because the SIL is predominantly Saturdays isn't it yeah uh, well I was talking to Potts as well you know pulling a team together midweek is a challenge you've got players turning up 20 minutes before kick off you know we've all got work commitments and uh, glad to see the back of them in all honesty uh, you know Saturdays give you a little bit of time to get people there on time but uh, you know I understand why the league's done it and uh, adds a little bit doesn't it allows people to come out midweek and watch a decent game of football so but I'm glad they're out the way now yeah there's a really good crowd here tonight wasn't it in terms of with it being a midweek game it was, yeah. it was really impressive yeah well you know we, we we're gradually increasing the number of people that come in to watch us and that, that we have to take that as a compliment that you know they, they see uh, uh, hopefully a half decent side play but also we've got the calf so they can get a cup of tea and yeah. uh, what not so yeah um, yeah, we, we, we can't be distracted by how many people turn up. We we know what we're capable of and if we uh, fulfil our potential every game, we, we're going to be there or thereabouts and that's the objective. At the end of the season, we, we want to be there or thereabouts and, uh, uh, you know, um, if we bring a few more supporters along the way, then fair play, we're happy with that. Yeah. Final one from me, just how good is it just to be back? just playing football and just having that regular routine in life because the last 18 months have just been horrible haven't they? Uh, the, the last 18 months have been a strain on everyone haven't they and uh, football is a, uh, is a release for people and uh, you know we can't control uh, the, you know what's going on in terms of Covid and how people respond to that but it's absolutely wonderful to be playing I'm glad pre is out of the way I hate pre-season it was an absolute nightmare um, so to actually be playing and being playing competitively and uh, doing okay at this moment in time yeah absolutely delighted to be back yeah it's brilliant stuff stuff kenny appreciate your time cheers, right. mate. cheers mate. if you have enjoyed today's video remember to hit the thumbs up button 
subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn the notification bell on so you are informed every time we release a video. If you would like to take that support one step further, you can do so by going over to ko-fi.com and making a one-off donation towards the channel, or you can go over to patreon.com and make a monthly donation towards the channel, select the tier that you want and you can cancel it at any time. Links for all of this and much more, including our merchandise for the Suffolk Non-League show are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, adios.